just going to go over some details of how to get this position first. Okay, depending on whether he's passing low or high. If he's passing low like he is, maybe both knees on the ground, then what I'm looking at usually, usually looking at doing is usually looking at trying to catch his hand, like a two-on-one. You can get the, um, the sleeve if you like as well. I prefer not to use the sleeve as much because then when you go to no-gi, it's really hard to, to adjust. But you can grab the, uh, the, the wrist as well in no-gi, um, in gi as well as you can no-gi. So whether, no matter where he puts that, like it's here, I grab it and I control it here. Okay, that's my first thing. If he's trying to pass now low while I've got this, it's going to be really difficult. Even if he holds the other hand, it starts trying to pass. And doing it, it's just moving right across an arm drag. Okay? So usually he's going to be trying to pull this back in this situation. But I want to keep it nice and strong. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this bottom arm underneath here. It's going to come to the back of the elbow. Okay, so I'm going to go to a two-on-one position. Now I've got the back of the elbow, the elbow. What I want to do here is I want to make sure when I hug this, I hold it nice and tight so he can't pull this back. If this is sort of loose and he slips it off and it goes back, then I'm going to lose that position. If I hold it nice and tight, try and get his back now. Try and move around, do what you want to do. It's really strong. And I use this, I, like, I, push his, I push his arm in here, like his hand in, and I create like a square angle here and I hold the back because it makes it really hard for him to break. If I let him pull this here, the angle is easy for him to pull that out, right? If I push this while I'm pulling this, it's really difficult. Okay, and it makes him weak. He's strong here, but he's not strong here. So you make it like a 90 degree angle? Yeah, yeah, nice and flat here. You see Marcelo Garcia uses this a lot. Once I get to this position, what I like to do from here is I'm going to pull this to one side, as if I'm going for like an arm drag sort of thing, except I'm just pulling it to my hip. So I pull his hand to my hip, okay? Once I do that, and he's no doubt going to try and pull back and stop this. This left arm that's on the back of the elbow is going to shoot in as if I'm going to do a rear naked choke on his elbow, okay? So he goes from here to in here. If you guys can't see this, I advise you just move around so you can get a better look at this. One, two, three, four, okay? I keep this nice and tight because I don't want him to pull back. Once I have this in here, I keep this nice and tight, I can transition this other arm to the back of his tricep. So I go from his wrist straight to the back of the tricep and I lock it as if I'm doing a rear naked choke. So exactly the same way you do a rear naked choke if you're doing it with your left arm. I hold this here. Okay, you all following so far? Sure. Once I'm in this position here, I can't just sit here like this. I'm leaning forward and sitting here, he's going to have the strength to pull this out. He's going to push back and it's going to slip out. I need to create an angle on his arm. While his arm's like this, it slides out really nicely. If his arm is like this and I'm locked here, there's no way it's going to move, is it? No. You know what I mean? So when, once I go from here to here, I pull it in right to my hip, and I get the rear naked grip on here. Now what I do is I lean back and I turn to the side. See how I, I tuck my elbow in here nice and tight, and see I've created an angle here. Now try and remove your arm. Try hard as you want. It's really difficult, okay? This is the first part I want you guys to do. If you're standing, stand up, I do the exact same thing when I'm sitting here. It's, it is more difficult to get the arm, but wherever he puts the arm on, like he's grabbing it, I'm going to try and break this and hold on to it. You can hold this if you like, but I really advise getting used to this. Okay, so I hold this, and this is a really good position. It's really hard for him to pass right now while I've got this. Okay, because no matter where he goes, I can control his arm. He's only got one arm. All right? Now I pull this in. No, sorry. From here I go to two on one. Okay, and once again I create that angle here. I'm try and move around here. This is a good positioning. See, try and, try and get it back. I can hold this pretty well. I get used to controlling this. Now I pull him in here. I reach in here and go to this grip. A lot of the times, though, when I am standing there, I'll, I'll know. When I get to this position, a lot of times I fall back from here. And I go back into guard and I set it up from here. Because it is easier than setting it up while sitting forward. When he's down on his knees, I prefer to set it up here, and then I can sit back pretty easily. But if he's up, when I get this position here, I prefer to pull him in here, bring this right leg in so he can't control it. I don't want to leave it here to control it, bring it in. I still hold this tight, lock it, and I twist here. Okay? You guys want to see that again? Yeah. I'll do it from standing, just a step of one. So, both hands on here. One to the elbow. Now I've got a two on one. I'm going to fall back and put my left foot on his hip. Okay, same side that I'm controlling his arm. I'm going to stretch him out a little bit. 
I pull him in, and I bring my right knee back, because I don't want to leave it this, because he's going to control it. I want this back here. So if he's going to try and control it now, it's hard. I can move this in here. Once I pull him further, this arm comes through, and I lock the rear naked. Now I change the angle to this side. Okay, create the angle on his arm so he can't pull that away. Try and pull it away now. It's very locked, isn't it? And then I can start attacking stuff. But we're not going to do the attacks here. I just want you to get comfortable getting this position. All right? And feel it too. Sit here, get your opponent to try and pull it out a little bit, and make sure that you've got the right angle. I'll come around and help you guys. Okay, any questions on that? All right, grab a partner. Let's do that, please. Okay. So, once again, let's go from the start. I get two, two on one control on his, on his arm, first his wrist, then when I feel comfortable, I go to the back of the elbow. Once I'm here, I drop back, I use my left foot to keep him back, so I'm stretching him right out. My right foot comes up here to make sure that he can't control my leg and try and pass. I can even sit on here if I like. I pull it, so if I keep my left arm, my left leg completely straight, I can't reach myself. Okay, so I let it come in a little bit, and I lock this position up. And I cut the angle here. Now, if my foot's already here, this is perfect. I'm just going to kick this right up over the top, pull it nice and tight down, and lock the catch on here, okay? I keep this nice and tight. Now, my next thing here, once I get this position, I'm going to slide this left arm out, okay? Slide this out and pull his arm right across. <laughs> Reach up, grab the back of my shin, my left foot on his hip to just cut a little bit of an angle, and lock this and get the finish. Sorry, I right I got small legs, so it comes off quick. Go back again. Oh, this is a setup you've already seen anyway. Let's say I don't put that on the bias I put. Let's say this is on the hip now, okay? He's on the hip and he's trying to control it. Then what I want to do is I want to bring it on the inside of his arm. Okay? No matter where it is, he's trying to control my leg, try and bring it on the inside. If he's holding the ankle, try to kick it out, bring it back on the inside. All the same while, while holding this nice and tight. Okay? Then when it's ready, I push your hips up, kick this over the top, lock your legs together. Okay? Now I slide this middle arm out. As I try and pull it across now, the little arms, the left arm's uh, locking it. When I slide this out, it makes space for me to pull that across. Now I pull it across, I bring my knees to my chest and I lock it nice and tight. I grab this foot, I cut a bit of an angle, and I lock it on. Some of you guys are more flexible than me. You can like, straight away you can probably lock this on. For me, I got like small legs and stuff, so it takes a bit of work to lock this on. Okay? One more time. Any questions? Okay, got a partner, and let's do that one.